good evening and welcome to 2020. I'm Jeff Smith. Tonight we are going to be looking at mobsters. Over the past 80 years many mobsters have risen and fallen from power in this country. Many famous names have come to the heads of powerful crime families including Lucky Luciano, <laughs> Lucky Pantuzo, and Lucky Luca Lacalani of Honolulu. <laughs> The reign of each of these bosses was terrifying indeed, but perhaps the most malicious and despicable mob boss of all was the head of the Catuzzi family, Mama Catuzzi. Now to tell us more about Mama Catuzzi, a historian. <coughs> uh, yes, Mama Catuzzi was indeed probably this century's most ruthless gangster. Uh, the tales about her are legendary among uh, most mobster families. She was known, you notice I word, use the word she, she was an old lady, but that did not diminish her ruthlessness. She was, she was malicious in her punishment of enemies. She would knit sweaters of the itchiest kind and force rival uh, bosses to wear them if she found out that she had been betrayed in any way. She, in fact, probably her most her most terrible weapon she used against other mobsters was the bottled old lady smell that she was able to develop. And she would spray them, and they were forced to smell the old lady smell, and it was indeed terrible. So now <coughs> we show you. We show you a film uh, that uh, this film will display some of her deeds. Um, so, uh, and now the film. April 5th, 1929, Mama Catuzzi and her ruthless gang were busted. She was then sentenced to a maximum security retirement home in the Florida Keys. She quickly gained control of the home, running a bingo and shuffleboard racket until her death in 1948. She was 92. Thank you for watching. Good night.